Hey everyone, welcome to Wednesday. So today was really not a good day. I asked to sleep in and I really didn't get to. Damn bugs. Um, so I woke up crying because I wanted to be able to sleep and quite honestly 45 minutes extra sleep after going to bed continuously night after night at midnight or later for like almost two weeks does not really work for me. And yes, I'm back at Stewart Park even though it's only a Wednesday. Uh, hubby's not feeling all that great today, so there's another, you know, not so good thing. Hump days really do suck in my house. Um, this week, Rowan's going to his other family's house, kid. Um, well, they tried to back out of it. I fully understand that one of them is in the hospital in ICU, but when you only get two weekends a month to see your kid, figure something out, honestly. And if he's watching this video, I don't care. I'm allowed to bitch. It's my YouTube channel. You can go fuck yourself. Um, sorry for the language, but that's how I feel right now. Kid has some emotional issues every once in a while, and trying to explain on a Wednesday that he's not going to see his Maddie and his other mama on Friday for the entire weekend, it's going to destroy him. Uh, and one of hubby's co-workers ended up in a car accident did something to her hand. She was sending pictures of, you know, of her hand, well, at least a finger I know of, wrapped up and in a brace thing being held down in the in the ambulance. Uh, she sent pictures of her car. She apparently blacked out and rear-ended another vehicle. If you know you got something wrong or you're going to end up blacking out, it's just seriously safer not to drive. Or at least have someone else with you to help keep you coherent. And if your boss does like it, your job can't be that bad. You haven't met my boss. Tomorrow is supposed to rain. But we're keeping kid out of school tomorrow and doing a barbecue. Can't believe he's still in school. There's so many people I follow on YouTube and Twitter and even on Facebook. Their kids are already out of school for the year. I feel bad because he's not. But next year, we're going to try to switch schools. Or we're going to do the homeschooling thing. We're thinking about doing the homeschooling thing. Seriously, considering it. Because he is extremely intelligent. And the schools haven't been listening about how intelligent he is. So they're not challenging him at all. Um, I really wish I could do the whole, you know, flip camera thing, you know, button. Right now he's playing on the merry-go-round. Another one. Not a bumblebee-looking one, but this one's got actual little horses on it. He loves to spin and spin and spin. Um, I need a selfie stick, too, by the way. I was against him at first, but... Now doing the YouTube thing, I kind of want one. It'll be easier for me to walk around and hold it up and you guys won't see a great big huge arm, you know, so that you get the right angle. Um, but I figured I'd bring him over here. We just dropped Hubby off at work. But kid's running off some energy and then I'm going to teach him how to use one of my two phones. Yes, that is right, one of my two phones. The one I'm currently using, I can't make or receive phone calls, it's strictly internet, but it has the best camera on it out of everything I own. I have my laptop in the back because we're going back to Arby's, which is where Hubby works. He's a shift manager. So FYI, if anyone needs a job and they prefer working, you know, from like four to almost midnight, they need employees. Bad. 
Um, but we're going to go and sit and have dinner and hang out for a little bit. And I figured, you know, Kid and I could do a little Wicked Wednesday. I might just actually call this one Wishful Wednesday because I kind of wish that I got to sleep in. I wish that my husband wasn't sick. Which, by the way, we have a doctor's appointment tomorrow at 4 for him. Hopefully we can figure out what it is. Um, my husband's diabetic, so right now his sugar is like, like 400. He's not in a good place. It's probably all the stress he's going through also. You know, 325, we can handle. It's still a little high, but we can handle that. You know, that's where he was four years ago when me and him got together. But, wow, four years. Sorry. Blonde well, moment for a moment. <laughs> um, but four years is a big accomplishment, and we've managed to get him down from almost 400 100, down to, on average, <coughs> to about 260-ish. So that's really good. You know, and that's a high 260. You know, normally he's about 240-ish. You know, on a really good day, 170. Easy. We haven't been able to figure out what's making his sugar spike as badly as it is. I know colds will do it. A flare-up with his allergies will. Lately, he's been a little bad with the sugar, but not too horrible. You know, he's been taking his insulin again on a semi-regular basis. Might have to get on his butt again and make him take it, you know, three times a day like he's supposed to for a little while. Hey, it's Brittany here to tell you about Zoomtan's uh, awesome spray tanning technology. But I kind of wish he wasn't diabetic. He wasn't sick. You feel warm and dry instead of cold. My son got into a fight at school today. And it's not even really a fight because, you know, they're second graders. They don't really know how to ball up the fist. Uh, but him and his best friend Annie got into a little bit of a slap match. All because, you know, he wanted to help clean up and she was holding a teddy bear that he wanted to put away, but she said she was going to do it. Apparently, he accidentally stepped on her leg and that's when the slapping started. Um, I wish he would behave a little bit better. You know, if it wasn't for Tristan having his dizzy issues right now from his sugar being high. I can't even see that. Okay, yeah. Um, his dizzy issues from his sugar being high, then we wouldn't be downtown. And then I would take my son into the woods to do the amateur ghost hunt. But right now I'm currently charging my phone and it is at 92%. Which while I'm thinking of it, here's my other phone. This phone does Twitter, does my calling and texting. I can access YouTube on it if I had internet. And I don't know how many of you have used this. Some of y'all are going to have to help me out with different apps and stuff that you guys use. I can't afford to pay for anything. Um, right now I am as broke as broke can be. But I use this. It's the ghost detector. I've tried it before and it sounded really stupid. It kept repeating the same stuff over and over and over again. Oh, I don't even think my volume was up right now. Hey! No, it wasn't. But... You can clearly hear that it is staticky. Oh, there's got some beeping. Let's see what it's gonna say. Nothing. It beeps. It's got three dots. And it's done. And I can't even connect to the internet, so it's not using fake words or anything like that. I mean, it is programmed with a bunch of words in it, but. And the last time I was at Stewart Park, I turned it on, and I had words like, um, no, don't, um, I think the name Amanda popped up on it, um, Owen, when I tried it at home, when I first downloaded it this time, um, it said devil, 
and misery and blood. I know I have something in my house. But it never happened. None of the stuff ever happens when my phone's in my hand. Go figure, right? So I kind of wish, there we go again, wishing that something would happen when I have my phone in my hand. Like, we are constantly hearing something like footsteps up and down the hallway. Um, there's an old man sounding voice that when we first moved in, every time I went down the hall and into the bathroom, and I'm going to clarify right now, I live in a trailer. It just popped up with no priest. I am in a park. A very clear park. And as far as I know, it has always been a park. But no priest? I'm not a priest. Closing that. Um. And yes, I have my phone on charge, so they, I'm fully set. Um. What was I saying? I don't remember now. Oh, you guys can, <clears throat> if you hear that, that was a goat, that's my hubby's text tone. Um, you guys will have to let me know what you, what apps you use and stuff like that. And what I need also, video editing software. I don't know how to edit videos. This is all new still. You want to give me a recommendation on what video software to, to use? I am totally down. It just needs to be the absolute basic, most simplest ever. Oh, I am completely computer, well, not so much computer, but electronically illiterate. I cannot hook up an old-fashioned TV to a VCR. That's how bad it is. I have a GameCube, a Wii, an Xbox, a smart TV, TVs, 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 all these electronics, and hubby has to hook them up. And if I have a problem with it, I have to call him if he's at work and have him walk me through as I'm telling him what is the issue. So yeah, not a good thing. Um, but yeah. My son is sitting by himself over on a bench, swinging. Kind of makes me sad. No one's playing with him. Ooh, and there's a bench with shade. It's starting to get a little dark already, and it's not even the end of June yet. I love the sun, don't get me wrong. But I want to wait until it's nice and warm, and I can jump in the water and go swimming and then get a beautiful sunburn. Because then after that, I'll just get a really, really amazing tan. I really do live on the wrong coast, too. That's another thing. Kind of wish I lived over in, like, California or something, you know, where it's nicer. Need to make time to save money and go see my dad. My dad lives in Arizona. My brother is moving down there. Hey, maybe I can get my brother to view these videos. Show my dad all the crazy stuff that he's missing in my life. But I'm going to say bye for now. Bye.